some of this scenery behind you. You know, you only see that in the western part of Kentucky if you're if you're down here. And like I say, most of this lake is in Tennessee. Uh -huh. You have got to be kidding me. Well, that's good with you right there. Billy, that's not right. Too big old nut. I'd rather catch one of them than just about anything. You and me both. From that point of that grass over there where the water bugs are right across through there. All right. Okay, Fee, I'm gonna make one more pitch. Either bad or we gonna leave you. There's an interesting history here. Tell people how this lake was formed. Well, it all started back in eight, December of 1811. A series of earthquakes. A lot of people think it's just one earthquake, but it's a series of earthquakes from uh, December of 1811 to February of 1812. And it's supposed to have been a sure enough big earthquake. It's supposed to ring the bells all the way up to Boston. And I wouldn't want it to be around back then, but it's supposed to have made a lot of racket. That's how the lake was formed, a series of earthquakes from 1811 to February of 1812. And it's made the ground here sink down. Of course, a lot of these bigger cypress trees is already here. And it made the ground sink down. The Mississippi River spilt over in it. It run backwards for like three days and uh, just spilled over in the lake. And the land rose back between the river and the lake and formed Real Foot Lake. Legend has it it had something to do with an Indian, Chief Real Foot because he had an old club footer, something like that. Like you said, just it wasn't one. It was one huge one after another after another. Ground opening up, sand guys are shooting 100 feet up in the air out of the, out of the ground. Now, they say that y'all are overdue for another big one. I don't want to be around if it's that big. Oh, oh look at yeah. Oh, look at that. That right there, Billy. It's pure fun. Now, down here, what do you call a big bluegill? He got to be bigger than my hand. And then we put him in a box and turn him into dinner. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he got some shoulder on him. That's the kind we're looking for right there. Big old nut on that heat. Billy, what's your earliest memory on this lake? Probably coming out here bluegill fishing. Who brought you out here first time? My dad, back when I was eight years old. I caught four or five, of them. I didn't catch many, but I caught four or five of them old big ones, and I still remember it like it's yesterday. You messed your head up, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Come on in here, buddy. You might as well give it up, man. You got a good one. Oh, that was a mean. big old blue you. That was hateful. Now, being that this lake is shallow, like that all the way around, you you see why it's good for bluegill and crappie and bass. Yeah, got a lot of cover. And what I find fascinating is the fact that most anywhere in this lake you can step out and be walking. Just about anywhere. A lot of people worry about if they fall in, they're worrying about drowning here. All you gotta do is stand up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anybody can do this from eight year old to 80 year old. When they see that bobber go down, if that don't get them excited, something's bad wrong. How long you been guiding out here? Been doing it since I was 14 years old. Can you imagine doing anything else? No, not really. Why would you want to? I mean, I wake up before the alarm clock goes off, look forward to getting up every day, and it ain't many jobs you do this. Another no birdie. Ooh, starting to make a little ragged in there now. Cool. <laughs> there he is. Uh oh. Oh, 
Oh, you don't want to get Look at him. Get out from under there. Get up there. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. You hear me, buddy? Big old nutty. Can't remind me of myself. <laughs> ounce for ounce, they fight more than any of them. <laughs> That's a pretty one, too. Look at that. Look at the colors on him. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. You're right. If they got to be five pounds, you couldn't get them you in the boat. Get a win. You'd have to, you'd have to gaff them. <laughs> <laughs> we usually fill the cooler full every day. That's usually the end of the day. Wow! Look at that. Unbelievable.